So it's pretty amazing. Uh, when we last visited this home, it was just pretty much the way it still is. The only thing that's changed a little bit is the pool is greener and the weeds in the pavers are taller. But that's what happens with short sales. And it is a process for the bank to vet the buyer and go through the whole process of making sure all the T's are crossed and the I's dotted. But this home is really quite spectacular as we showed it before. And people are very eager to buy a short sale home or a foreclosed home in a neighborhood like this. So sometimes it does mean toughing up and if the house appraises a lot less than what it sells for, then you have to make that tough decision. Do I have enough cash to make up the difference? And some of my clients say, yeah, I've got 20 or $30,000 I can make up the difference for, but I don't know, about 50 or 100,000. And sometimes that's, that's what happens in these cases. But the things that need to be fixed here are really quite cosmetic. There's a carpet that's been trashed and you know a little bit of cleanup on aisle four here in the real estate business we call these presents or gifts that the previous seller uh, pre previous owner left and i've been into some short sale or foreclosed homes where you know you people get so angry at the whole process they actually tear up the granite or the um, quartz countertop which you know takes an effort to do that but the kinds of things that need to be taken care of here are really minimal. Uh, you can see the ne next door neighbor is building a pool and I'm sure they'll be quite glad when uh, this pool gets cleaned up. So we are in the final stages of the uh, short sale process. If the bank approves the appraisal and the, then the, the buyer is is basically all set to go. So we're gonna hear now from the appraiser and his thoughts on this whole, not only this property, but uh, the appraisal process in general right now, which is, it's a crazy market, as you know. So Brad, and you're, and we're not gonna talk about this house specifically, mm -hmm. so just um, generally, how are appraisals going these days? People are concerned that their homes are not gonna appraise, that they're bidding on or offering on. So what what's your sense of that? Is that true? That's very true. Um, most appraisals uh, lately have not been coming into value because uh, of the bidding wars, <laughs> multiple offers and, and things of that uh, nature. But um, you know, it's, it's art of negotiations, you know, so people have to learn how to just uh, come up with the money and, and you know, we, we, we can't fret about it. We have to just do our job and just, just stay steadfast on, you know, what we're, uh, what, what, what they expect of us because the banks really control everything. You know, as far as what we do and what they expect us to do, we, we got to play that game and uh, we can't deviate from that. As soon as we do, you know, we, we get scrutinized. You're out of a job. Oh, we're technically, yeah, out of a job. Because you got to play by the rules. Got to play by the rules, and whatever else is going on, you can't. You, the one thing about appraising is you can't, um, you can't value emotions, and, and and a lot of this becomes very emotional for people. So when they're making their offer, and I think most people realize they're paying a little more than they should, but they're trying to beat the competition. So, you know, it goes hand in hand. So. So what do you tell people like that? What would be your advice to clients who are? Well, they always up? should get an appraisal before they make an offer, but uh, most don't. So. Unfortunately, they don't take advantage of us, and, and I think more people should. So that would really be helpful in the whole industry as a whole, both so you, from your perspective and mine. So you really just have to um, be prepared to make up that cash difference, right, if you're going to exactly jump in? It. That's exactly it. So unfortunately, it's a feeding frenzy right now. So, you know, these multiple offers are just, just pushing the limits to everything. So, and that's, you know, that's not our problem. You know, we, we just do our job and let people negotiate however they want. You know, we, we can't look over our shoulder, you know. All right, Brad, thanks for your yeah, time. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe below and we'll give you more juicy tidbits using my ears.
years of experience as a consumer reporter and investigative reporter in TV news in Miami and St. Louis. This is just so much fun for me to be able to bring value to people based on my experience and uh, having the ability to show you properties like this because so many people don't understand what can be involved in getting a home or property of their dreams. And sometimes you have to pay a little price, like just cleaning up that pool, but nothing that uh, a big dose of chlorine won't cure. All right, everybody. Again, if you like this, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.